Hi, my name is Dennis Feidner, and uh, this video is going to cover our estimating, and this is estimating specifically for a general contractor. We'll have another video for specialty subs, but this is specifically for a GC. So within Master Builder, here's our estimating module. We're going to go to a takeoff, and I'm going to pull up a job we've already done. It's our generic general contract. And so what we have here is we have multiple bid items. In this case, we have general requirements is one, uh, model 1245, and then we also have a change order that we priced out. In addition to that, we have two different phases. We're doing a main house and a guest room or a guest house on the same project. But the, what I want to get across to you is not that the level of detail, but the, the concept between behind Master Builder's uh, estimating module. And I think the best example to look at is, is this one right here. Uh, probably looks a lot like your Excel spreadsheet. Uh, in this case, we know we have some concrete sign. Uh, it's going to be subcontracted. I know when I looked at the plans uh, as an owner or as an estimator, I have a pretty good idea that this, this job should be somewhere around $2,000. But I put down 1950 We've gotten prices from two different vendors. These are the vendors that quoted those prices. And the only one that's going to follow through to my, my proposal and to my budget and to printing the subcontracts is this item here because I quantified it by one. If I wanted to use another sub, I put one here and delete this one. And at that point, I'm now going to use this person. Again, it goes through that for all of your different subcontractors. And I'm assuming that most of you sub out between 95 and 100% of your work. So each of your sub trades is going to be listed here. Uh, the reason we want you to really use Master Builder's estimating is, is really simple. Once I'm done, I can now send my cost out to the budget for your accounting people. I can print a proposal as detailed and as, as glamorous or professional as you want. We have some that are five and six pages long on legal paper. Uh, if I know I'm going to buy materials for this project, I can create the purchase orders. And I can also go out and print the actual subcontracts. Uh, it'll look just like yours. We can customize the forms to look just like your subcontract. Uh, that, is, that is the reason we want you to do it here. Excel works great. This looks like Excel, works like Excel. But we get tons of integration uh, following the, the budget uh, preparation, estimate preparation. The other thing nice about this is uh, if I have somebody else do the estimate, and I wanted to see what's going on with this job, and it's going to require me to save it, so I'm going to save it real quick here. Uh, and I just want to look at it from the big picture is what bid items do I have? Uh, what do I have for a price and what kind, of over, what kind of profit do I have for those items? If I want to look at it by individual phase, same thing. What are my costs? What's my profit by each phase? If I'm familiar with what my cost codes are, um, I can now look at my cost code, what my cost budget it is, uh, my overhead and profit, my gross margin by line item. If I want to look at who's quoted me on this job and who's low at this point, I can also pull up a recap of all of my individual uh, vendors of who's quoted me and what price they've quoted for me uh, on that project. You know, in this case, uh, that may be too large a project. Uh, the handoff to that subcontractor, we may at that point uh, give him a labor only subcontract and actually purchase the lumber for him to kind of reduce our risk going into this project. So that's the way Master Builder's estimating works. It, it should look a lot like uh, your systems today. 99% of the people we talk to uh, from the general side are typically using Excel. It looks like Excel. It feels like Excel. Uh, if I wanted to, I can come in here and, and, and actually uh, show and hide a column here and actually put a column in here and with formulas. And so uh, if you're specialty sub, that's something we'll address in that, in that demo. But uh, we can choose which columns we want. Uh, one of the things somebody may have noticed over here is we've typed a note in here. And so this note, since it's tied to this column called export notes, this, this line detail right here will follow through to his subcontract so, or purchase order. So on his subcontract in the notes section, it's going to carry forward those notes. And those notes can be pages and pages long. It's up to you as the level of detail you want to bring in into the notes field. But, uh, and some of those can be standardized as well. But it should work a lot like you're doing today, except that we're going to expedite uh, once you do get the notice that you're going to get that project and proceed with it. Uh, Literally, if I click this button right now uh, and I had 25 subcontractors on this project, I would print off all 25 subcontracts with the export notes, with the prices, with all of the descriptions, and then go to the back of my printer and, and pull those off and stick them in the mail so, or email them if you want to. And so that is the reason that uh, Master Builder is so powerful in the estimating piece for the general contractors. Anyway, 
that's the end of this video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want, you can go and look at another video. If you'd like to see something a little bit more customized, again, uh, just my name is Dennis. Just give us a call and we'll get that set up for you. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the videos on the CD. Thanks.